So that's what all that means. And that's what also this means is that it's simple and extensible. And soap allows you to get around firewalls. By the way, I got this all from W3 Schools. If you guys want to learn more about soap, just go ahead on there and you can get into deeper understanding with it. So I hope this makes sense, guys. The key concepts of API testing are that we are focusing on the business logic of the architecture. With the GUI testing, what was happening was that we are focusing on the user experience. And that's very important. But in an agile environment, it's extremely hard to sit and wait for a GUI to show up when you can be testing APIs. The other key to API testing, guys, is that it's important to understand the functionality of the API. So for example, when we go back to our application, here we are selecting a service, which is authentication, let's say, and we are selecting its methods. So you need to understand what these methods actually do. Get token method. What is its goal? What kind of token is it getting? And what is the appropriate response? Those are the kind of questions that you should ask in order to do API testing. Just make sure you understand it and your team can help you with that. The developers certainly can help you with that, with the understanding. And they can even pinpoint you to the exact element, XML element, where you need to put in your input values and where you expect the output values. So that's that. 